Hi, this is Amrita Sukumar and I am bringing to you this podcast called Unsettling. Look around you. Everyone is trying to create their own story. Make a tiny change in someone's life by just following their passion and in turn inspiring the others to follow suit. This podcast brings to you stories of people who have defied the definition of settled set by the society and have created their own. They have found happiness in their version of settled. What is yours? Today's guest is a veteran professional with a degree in engineering and more than 45 years and rich experience in various industries. He has professional qualifications on total quality management with training at USA and Japan. The first phase of his professional career was in sale, a Bhilai steel plant. Later he moved to a large scale private steel industry, but after working for about 8 years he left while working as VP. and started his own training and consulting independently along with association with ULDQS a training and third party certification organization for 10 years <laughs> he has conducted hundreds of trainings workshops on quality and hr related topics suiting to customer requirements across the country he is also associated with social and spiritual organizations like ramakrishna mission shri aurobindo ashram mahavir international and brahma kumaris So to know more about him and his work I would like to welcome Mr Sapan Bardhan. Hello sir, how are you? Hello, I am fine. How are you? I am good too sir. Thank you for coming on the podcast and and we know that uh, you have written a book based on your experiences and the people you have interacted with. So I wish to discuss more about that and I would like to ask you when did you come up with the idea of writing unfolding success? See, uh thinking process Hmm. Started, I think, around two zero one five, two thousand fifteen, when I realized that I had lot of practical experiences of varied nature hmm. in all industries in various organizations across the okay. country, including one at Dubai. And okay. my experience was uh, as a learner. Still, I am hmm. learning. Implementer, that is the most difficult task for everyone, hmm. including the government. trainer and an assessor for second party assessment of few reputed organizations second party assessment means uh, mm. we go and uh, use their uh, questionnaire and assess as a neutral person and right. uh, give them back the uh, status as is this and based on this based on our uh, answers or mark sheets their directors uh, audit this and they declare awards and uh, along with the award their yearly increment also is connected so we hmm. got a lot of vip treatment during Achha. our assessment <laughs> and then next is the third party assessment third party assessment is certification assessment for iso 9001 and all so for that as you already briefed uh, initially for one year i was a assessor and then mm-hmm. for the next of the nine years approximately i was a lead assessor lead assessor is the leader of a team many assessors right. and mm-hmm. that was for nine years and after 10 years i think that's enough we should quit right but, uh, <laughs> thus uh, i feel i have got uh, i have got a uh, good amount of hands on experience that's very mm-hmm. important i'll tell you frankly but okay. uh, the strength i have and my team have I really feel pride that we have worked, worked, and worked, and is still working on the ground level. We mm-hmm. understand the language of people down the line from top. So it is the lowest, uh, most ranking worker in any organization. To mm-hmm. the not only CEO, it is the director or entrepreneur of the organization. So that we understand that uh, their vibration, what they want, and what they look for from persons mm-hmm. like us. so thus uh, the a good amount of hands on experience i was just sharing with you more mm-hmm. or less all facets of related to people right uh, all facets Correct. means the people management mm-hmm. and development when you say people one is management another is development hrd mm-hmm. my core area tqm mm-hmm. total quality management i feel mm-hmm. uh, where i was trained and mm-hmm. contributing for od od stands for you are aware of organizational development Okay. so many companies it's not uh, only 
uh, small small to corporates so mm -hmm. industries and the society together mm -hmm. have given me a lot and hence i felt that it's my time now to return back as a gift to the Correct. working people especially mm -hmm. to the next generation you know younger generation and hence the book the practical guide for those who suffer wishes to be successful in their life oh okay however ha huh, going back however yeah. final manuscript got delayed due to my own laziness i admit <laughs> it's due to persistent reminder or you can say follow ups by my friends two friends name i would like to mention here one is mr rajendra potta and another mm -hmm. is mr pavesh mehta they were after me are likhna yaar are likhna yaar okay 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 then i could finish writing so credit goes to both of them well now i understand because you have done so many things over a period of time you've worked um, as a vp quality manager and uh, also an um, hr and uh, that really helps understanding the perspective of people from both sides right you understand as a person who is working and also as a person who is on the management kind of segment and hence you can high hence you can highlight and also help people on both ends so well unfolding success is a beautiful creation then um i just wanted to ask you then as you said if your book is called unfolding success then why why did you think of this title unfolding success i was exploring which uh, title should suit to my uh, the proposed book mm -hmm. and uh, i have lot of friends kali professional can i ask them do you give me suitable give me suitable so but i was not able to freeze it but ultimately uh, my elder son in law uh, mm -hmm. jaydeep he came out with this unfolding success word which clicked to my mind and very much supported by my wife prativa <laughs> and then mm -hmm. i say i'm doing that and then this title was also liked by the bibu mm -hmm. the ceo of uh, you know uh, story mirror the publisher oh and that's why i decided now question is why unfolding success right uh, unfolding is basically if you go to uh, dictionary meaning it is mm -hmm. uh, to open or reveal disclose the folded truths or secrets and to be known mm -hmm. okay so unfolding mm -hmm. success is achieving something someone desires name fame money but Correct. in this book i have tried to explain what exactly success is mm -hmm. according to me i am happy to share and feel honored that majority of people having gone through the book agree mm -hmm. with me 100% as i have declared that this is a practical handbook in mm -hmm. achieving success few of them has kept the book at such a location that they may be easily and quickly retrieved whenever needed so this wow. talks that it is a successful book and uh, again customer requirements as i told you mm -hmm. so i am able to uh, satisfy the customers as larger uh, segment <laughs> of course if if they are keeping it uh, in a place where it can be retrieved of course it is something yeah. that you have to read uh, like a book yeah. which which is going to help you every single day and yeah, yeah. um i'm i'm glad sir you have written you uh, put you, this you, out into you. the world you, and people are you, using you it are as a guide you, you seem to be very good motivator also a lot of <laughs> good words for me so thank you yeah, i'm known as a motivator in the industries but a motivator also needs good motivation yes so, sir i so, i will do that job for you you have motivated people now yeah. i'll motivate you <laughs> yeah, thank you thank you thank you yeah <laughs> sir uh, sir you have um, also mentioned that you know there are a few things that people take away from this and that is why they keep it uh, in a place which can be retrieved easily the book can be retrieved mm -hmm. easily so what according to you are the top 3 traits one should inculcate to be successful in professional family and social sphere that people can take away okay okay it's a very good question see if you ask me na in uh, number like three is very difficult because uh, with three four it is very difficult to you know, <laughs> achieve success so what okay. i'll do success word the word success there are uh -huh. seven letters right right s u c c e d m r i seven letters yeah. so instead with your permission yes. instead of seven letters i will use seven sentences mm -hmm. which will have few traits together number mm -hmm. one is a be steady 
in mm. your thinking process with positive okay. thoughts very important mm. i will repeat thinking process with positive thoughts mm. and have full faith on the supreme power the supreme almighty i mm. believe 100% on that i have realized in my life and mm. full confidence on own level of own confidence right okay this is mm. one uh, you mm. should not be uh, afraid of are i don't know it will possible not to be. you think it is possible go ahead that's all <laughs> number 2 <laughs> is thinking and doing good to others whatever possible but with no expectations you mm -hmm. do normally we expect and then do mm. first option second option will we do but we expect also but what is required is we should continue doing good job good job at field in the factory in the society in the family and helping others but we should mm -hmm. not have any expectation Correct. okay third is appreciate the achievements in public and open forum so true i have seen the good things are told in kevin okay so open gaps observed are also to be conveyed to all concerned for improvement process but in private one to one it should not be in open forum good this a lot of people criticize me well, okay my way must have been wrong which i am trying to improve hard working that is a smart working is required you, know? mm -hmm. you work but continuously continuously you update your skill set Hmm. but whatever i learned during uh, college days during my sale days during my uh, work while working in the industry while working for a third party doesn't hold good now Correct. you have to come continuously get yourself updated mm -hmm. and sixth is that true to yourself very important i give uh, first emphasis important through this true to hmm. yourself and listen what your intellect or heart says hmm. that's the, actually basically the Uh, there is a point you must have uh, you know come across you know whether i should go this way or uh, that way what is right what is wrong correct so that time uh, you must listen what your heart says because it is said i have really heart doesn't give you wrong direction mm -hmm. mind can give so <laughs> true to yourself listen what your intellect heart says Hmm. and last will be take a right judgment on what's right and what's wrong and uh, support the right views and action but hmm. be vocal about the wrong things see hmm. if somebody is doing a right thing somebody is doing good job hmm. you may be may not be his friend right hmm. you may not be his opponent or her opponent hmm. but if somebody is doing good we must support yes it is good hmm. especially for the society and nation Hmm. because i feel rashtra dharma is the first dharma forget hmm. about all dharma rashtra dharma correct and we vocal about the wrong doings if hmm. something is happening wrong it is our job to highlight and convey that's all you need correct. not to get argue worried. you need not to get argue need not to get hyper mm -hmm. you have done your job let them do all those things yes definitely i'm going to keep this in mind one is to be steady uh second yes. do good without expectation third appreciate in person like if you are uh, if you are depreciating in in front of everybody then appreciate also in front of everyone then work smart continuously upgrade yourself be true to yourself and just take a judgment on what is right and wrong you have to make sure yes. that uh, you be i mean you be vocal whenever these things come across yes yes must support the right things yeah and but convey the wrong doings also that's all Definitely. that is our response <laughs> so this was the but i will remind you, you you appreciate open forum but the gaps must be told in private so Correct. that uh, the person doesn't get offended na, in front yes, of yes people yes yes so true so true it is it is usually the opposite uh yeah, that yeah. happens yeah. but uh, if you keep this in mind what is going to happen is that people will people won't feel bad right and people will work more work harder because they are getting that kind of appreciation yes uh, so sir i i also heard from you itself that uh, there were around 300 interviews that were conducted for this book yes yes, yes. so uh, since you've already told us that there are three traits like seven traits that we have to keep in mind uh, yeah, yeah. what is what do you feel you have learned after talking to so many people most important we need mm. to be passionate 
Right. And another is the hard stroke a smart working. And focused is very important. You need mm-hmm. to be focused. And mm-hmm. but we need to decide when you need to be focused. Mm-hmm. Because in today's world there are uh, many things to be done. Correct. Now there it comes is a prioritization, which mm-hmm. is there. I mentioned in the book, Dr. Parato's analysis, 80-20 mm-hmm. formula. Mm-hmm. So 20% of uh, acts uh, impacts 80%. The last is the sincerity and honesty. Mm-hmm. If you are honest and sincere your approach, mm-hmm. only suppose you have planned for one year, two year, three, five, you may, might not get uh, within the time frame you've decided, mm-hmm. you've planned, but mm-hmm. uh, after six months, one year, you will certainly get. And mm-hmm. this I can guarantee because I have realized in my life. <laughs> Okay. So wonderful learning. You have to be consistent. You have to work smart. You need focus and you have to be sincere and honest in whatever you do. Unfortunately, this is the, you know, uh, outcome or analysis of uh, whatever I could uh, gather from all 300 people. And Mm -hmm. 300 people, again, I just to share, Mm -hmm. uh, it was a cross section of um, complete society, industry. Mm -hmm. So, Persons uh, participated in my survey is Dr. Pratao Digaukar, IPS, mm-hmm. the Special Inspector General of Police, Maharashtra. Okay. Mm-hmm. That time he was in Mumbai, now I think he is in uh, Nasik. Achha. Then Sudhakar Shinde and one is uh, two commissioners, two municipal commissioners, the I- mm-hmm. IRS. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then one uh, director in a BET, then Rajesh Kumar Naldol, IES, mm-hmm. ex board members of TRI. And he actually he used to be my school benchmate. Oh. <laughs> I, I benchmate. Um, Rajesh Arnold, then Abhay Daptardar, uh, again, Ministry of MSCB Director, Ganesh Deshman, MGR, MGR, Executive, MG Arun, Executive Director, India Today, Anuda Grastaki, Radhakishan Pillai, few other names, Mr. Vijay Singh Bapna, Swami Nathan from Boma Kauris, many others, many mm-hmm. others. So, plus, 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 plus. Mm-hmm. All types of industries, bureaucrats, junior level or senior level executive also. Uh, Shudesh Bosley, playback singer. Okay. Yeah, he also participated, over phone. He talked to me an hour and he was started <laughs> sharing Lata Mangeshkar's life. And all. I mean, you've spoken to so many varied people that there are so many perspectives that have come to you. And yes, uh, that definitely will help unfold success for a lot of people. Uh, I, I, I feel that. <laughs> so, uh, so considering the fact that you had to interview almost 300 people for your interview, how long yes. did it take for you to write this book? Writing this book, you say, when I started ultimately, na, mm. as I told na, to my two friends who are continuously following me because they knew that something good will come. Right. So when I started, I used to get up at 2 o'clock, 2.30 Correct. in the morning. Mm-hmm. So the first very draft, I think three months. Mm-hmm. First draft means second draft. Again, I went through this. Mm-hmm. And uh, I also took the help of some of my colleagues here. Again, cross-section. Go mm-hmm. through, go through, plus, minus. But final decision was mine. Mm-hmm. Then for the last edition, I also got support from my three of my professional colleagues. Mm-hmm. So you go through and give me your work because ultimately it should be useful. If I say I am the author, fine, and I know the best things in the in the world, so that's yeah. not correct. Mm-hmm. Even uh, many people they have gone through and uh, given their comments right or wrong, whatever is there, mm-hmm. the suggestion. But mm-hmm. ultimately, I made for this last revision, mm-hmm. third revision, I made one. Uh, you know. Uh, Editorial team. Oh, I wrote it. Mm-hmm. Uh, editorial. So three persons are there. It is there in the book with two names and photographs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Kul Kulkarni, then uh, Harshal Pradhan and Reval Hajmati. Mm-hmm. So they also went through uh, because I said uh, you are one of the editorial team. Mm-hmm. So okay, 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 fine. They are photographs. That's why <laughs> it is available in the book. Again, everybody needs some motivation. So yes. I think that's why. The book has come to a good shape. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it, it, yeah, it requires so much effort to write a book. It's definitely something that my listeners would oh. love to hear. And I can understand from the uh, fact, the way you've explained how you've written the entire book 
from writing at 2 a.m. till 5:30 a.m. and then uh, having your friends review it, having an editorial team. It is it is a humongous task to write a book and to bring it forth and uh, you know allow people That's to read it. That's why I mentioned no focused. Yes, I was focused. focused for this book for the last six months. <laughs> yeah. For the six months. And you've also done smart work where you've got a lot of people also to understand the audience perspective. So thank that you, also thank you. <laughs> uh, lot of appreciation I got, but nobody told me that you are you are you are written in a smart way. This is the first compliment I get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be the first. Uh, so, so um, as I mentioned before, definitely people want to know. That is why you have um, had your friends and an editorial team review it. So, yes, uh, yes, yes. I, as as a layman or as an audience, I want to know how would reading your book benefit the readers. So, uh, what I'll say: the this book deals with what and how of success. Correct. okay mm-hmm. this is the main topic no bold letter written in bold now question is what is success mm. to some success is well mm. for some it is power mm. for some just want to make a positive impact on the world yes this simply means the success is a concept that mm. means different things to different people so now that this was also one of the question to all the 300 people so and i agree that though no matter what success is to you it almost certainly that it is not something that will come easy correct success needs uh, smart working book getting focused and uh, it takes time right hmm. now there are numerous books in the market very good books hmm. very good books on how to be successful but success is very personal hmm. and unique to each individual but uh, what i have mentioned is Uh, from the ground level uh, to the topmost level hmm. whatever okay. experience i have got hmm. and with this in mind before initiating this book i took a lot of efforts by talking to as i have rightly said the 300 people like this but uh, fortunately these candidates both men and women came from different age groups different backgrounds it it's a sample size because we believe in quality management na So Correct. in quality management, sample is very important. Sample. Uh-huh. If you take a sample from one truck of brick, hmm. what is correct or not? So it's not that your first three take. You have to take from different, uh, you know, labels, different location, different position. That is sampling. This is hmm. known as a sampling in our quality management. Correct. So uh, different background like academics, economic, cultural, geographical. So I feel. Uh, i could effectively blend my own professional and social experience along with the inputs of all those very important inputs mm. of those 300 people that i talked to okay that's why i think i feel i don't know i feel it's a successful book my own life journey has been full of ups and downs i have written in the book like this mm. ups and downs and hence could relate to the needs of the prospective readers Correct. or maybe implementers Okay. I am fully confident that the book will definitely give the necessary torch to find the right path. And if walk through honestly, hmm. I am again uh, underlining the word honestly. The chance of being successful in life would be for sure at the professional as well as personal fronts. Right, right. Okay, so yeah, well, it is important that uh, everybody gets their own perspective in the book, and if you find your perspective, then there's nothing more beautiful than that. Hopefully, everyone who reads it will find their own definition of success from unfolding success. Yes. So, yes. I would just request everyone to go and find the book. It's there on Amazon, and you can definitely go and you know, you know, buy it. You can find it on Kindle as well. So that is going to change your life, and I'm sure now, by now, Mr. Uh, Sapan Bardhan has convinced you how it is going to help you and transform your life. So do so. And just to yes. just to mention you, Amrita. Yes. Nowadays, I think this festival going on right. by uh, organized by Amazon and Flipkart. Yes. This book is available on I think forty to sixty percent discount. Oh. And in Kindle also can get ninety percent. Yeah, I hope people uh, find it and. Uh, Uh, if they have any doubts they can definitely get in touch with you sir uh, sure. we have we've also mentioned in um, that you, you are somebody who delivers a lot of trainings and webinars 
So what drives you? What is your passion that you deliver such amazing mm-hmm. level of training on a particular topic? Now, I'll just to quote you again, I'll mm-hmm. try to give you a reference. I referenced already Brahma Kumaris, right? Mm-hmm. So out of four, I think uh, off late, uh, it is my wife and through my wife, I got uh, uh, not fully, partially got associated with Brahma Kumaris. Okay. And uh, why I got interested, including my wife, that the way of training people, every day morning, 30 minutes across the world, it is known as a murli, okay. like Krishna's murli. Uh-huh. Uh, some message comes and some Brahma Kumari, BK, sister or brother, uh, they read it. Mm-hmm. This is actually training. Okay. And whatever you see, you read any book mm. of any subject, mm. just by reading it is very difficult to, uh, I will not say understand, but it is for implementation. That's why training plays a very, very important role. Mm. And there are a lot many trainers available also. So what I feel uh, as regards uh, with reference to your question, what you asked, mm-hmm. the main driving force for me, Sapan Bhattan, is feeling a sense of responsibility is first. Right. To return back to the society, what I mentioned in the beginning, mm-hmm. whatever good things I've got as of now and mm-hmm. sharing solutions wherever I, wherever I failed. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want that my younger generation, the people who are currently associated with many organizations should uh, uh, fail somewhere. Hmm. So I, I am there to give them an upfront that you are going to face this, you know, like weather forecast. Right. Okay. <laughs> so moreover, since gained a lot of experience from different facets of my professional career, eager to share with interested people hmm. through training as a guide with practical inputs and also hand-holding way. Right. So we are ready to handhold also. It's not that one time, one day program, two days program, we, uh, you know, conduct, get some good amount, you know, mm-hmm. premium amount and right. come back. No, no, we are here to, uh, to hold. It's not that what we say we mean. Hmm. And how to really get the benefit, we are there to show you. Got as far as world class is concerned, <laughs> say, I always try to benchmark with the best in class facilities. Hmm and continually improving upon myself. That is the uh, one of the practice I'm still following. Uh, I still uh, monitor my own performance. How? I ask them, you get give me the feedback. You know, right. Whatever you have collected from people. I don't give any questionnaire. Mm-hmm. I don't give any you know format for feedback in my style. Mm-hmm. You use and then let me know. And I'm very happy to say that. Since I have started, I think, uh, 1092 from Mm -hmm. Vilay, as on date, my uh, performance measure in terms of percentage, I think it is, it is, it uh, ranges or varies between 91 to 98%. Wow. Yes, yes. Because (laughs) I see, I see, suppose you organize a program, I will ask you, who are the persons, where from they have come? And my program is uh, normally uh, it's value addition with practical inputs. Some questions I uh, would not have anticipated, but they ask, I answer again based on my uh, experience of past 45 years. Mm -hmm. At the same time, try to make the total uh, duration of the program very lively, Mm -hmm. interactive, and humorous. So that's why they become very much interested because if you start uh, like a classroom, what we attended in a college and a school days, nobody will take. Correct, correct. Nobody will you know that. Hmm. So creating an environment uh, also helps. Yes, definitely. Okay, and uh, I focus on sharing maximum, uh, is very important, maximum width of the subject, width as much as possible and depth too. You have, mm-hmm. to, you have to take a deep drive. Mm-hmm. Then only they were happy, you know, right. looking at their grasping level. That programs are fully interactive and with an humorous. Uh, I, I am interested to continue many programs like this till uh, I feel myself fit. <laughs> so, uh, are you telling me, sir, that if I come to you, considering the fact that I'm doing podcasting and I have some issues uh, which I would like to solve from your webinar, will you be able to handhold and guide me as well? 
yeah yeah yes yes so anybody can of come course. get in touch with you ha uh, through email through email because yes. there are a program a mobile becomes difficult right so they can write it uh, in my mail uh, right. introducing them first Correct. what exactly it is then i will reply or maybe and with their mobile so maybe i can uh, uh, call back him or her and i can reply oh. certainly certainly i give you the uh, homeopathy medicine <laughs> nice so uh, it will be so effective so you uh, you solve the root cause root problem not uh, the symptoms then yeah, yeah are i should not say but i say we have to focus on root cause analysis yes so um uh, sir i want to ask you since we we've, we've been talking for so long and we know that I, i know that you've got such a vast level of experience in your profession what is your yeah. advice to the youngsters or the upcoming professionals the first is full faith on the supreme power and almighty okay. whosoever you believe mm-hmm. this is no hard and fast rule supreme power or super almighty whatever is there right and again i am saying same study in your thinking process it's a, i am repeating the thinking process mm-hmm. with positive thoughts for the good results mm-hmm. and here i would like to mention that if we think good for others mm-hmm. good things will come to us okay so if we to start thinking something bad for others hmm. so automatically after few months few years i will start feeling but i will not uh, be able to sense that it has uh, originated by me only. okay <laughs> right. so let us have a good environment of positive vibes vibrations mm-hmm. don't go what boss is telling is right hmm. you have to have guts <laughs> i'm using the word guts yes suppose boss and ceo your head of department and especially in the month of january february hmm. because march april performance appraisal will be written so most of the people say why i should sell no sir agree 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 otherwise my rating may come down from yes. a to b b to <laughs> okay normally i have seen right you believe on yourself if you feel it is not correct to tell him hmm. i am telling you you will never get b you will continue to get get e a only hmm. but the person your boss understand he is the right person hmm. so but normally we fail to realize that so we stick to your heart and yeah. uh, have guts have guts say. yes uh, and guts is very important okay hmm. uh, take your right judgment as it passion hard working that is a Uh, smart working focused and honesty we should be honest to our profession that's very important that's why learning unlearning and relearning mm. that has to be you know continuous process in everybody's life wherever he or she is working yeah firstly let me thank you for giving such a wonderful advice it is very important when people be consistent be loyal be honest to what they're doing otherwise well nobody is going to reach anywhere and uh, sir coming coming to the final question mm-hmm. since you asked for your book you kept on asking people what does success mean to them i have mm-hmm. been asking people what does being settled mean to them because everybody around us keeps on asking us beta when are you getting settled so i thought mm-hmm. i'll just ask everyone this answer so that when someone asks me this question i have an answer for them <laughs> okay 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 fine <laughs> so you want to answer from me yes yes sir so what does being settled okay, mean to uh, i am not sure about this but right. uh, what i feel i will tell you as yes. i as i have told that we should be honest uh, mm-hmm. say uh, what the settled means to me yes. okay i don't know if right or wrong you can mm-hmm. correct it yes it is like a getting established mm-hmm. or feeling comfortable mm-hmm. getting satisfied etc 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 so meaning of being settled is in the process of settling as i as far as uh, as a author of hmm. the book is concerned because this was my first book hmm. so i don't know so i am in the process of getting established as hmm. a as a good author hmm. so that's why i am in this process right i think i don't know it is my uh, yes i don't as you see it is there is no right or wrong answer if you feel right now hmm. uh you are feeling settled yeah. as an author then that's beautiful because i understand you've come from a lot you've done so many things you have uh, jumped ship you have worked in so many organizations um and you know you found your calling as an author as yes. as a trainer yes. and yes. right now even though you are settled as you said you're comfortable with where you are 
you're still unsettled yeah. you're still looking for something new or some new avenue where yes. you can contribute so yes yes as long as you're happy with what you're doing it's beautiful so thank you so much so these were all my questions sir thank you so much for coming on the podcast thank you for sharing your knowledge and uh, telling us so many beautiful things i'm sure my listeners will have a gala time listening to this they will have a notebook ready to take notes so that you know they can utilize these pointers in their lives and i would just request anybody and everybody who is listening to this to please go and find this book on amazon and as sir mentioned it is uh, a sale going on so it is going to come at a very reasonable price so please please do and please go there and definitely look for this book so sir thank you for leaving us with okay. this beautiful thank thought thank you very much thank you very much thanks to you hi if you can hear this that means you have reached the end of the episode so like share subscribe follow stay tuned to unsettling and if you want to get in touch with me you can always reach out to me on my instagram page amrita sukumar underscore unsettling or send me an email on podcast.unsettling.as at gmail.com hope to hear from you soon bye